what's up guys so uh i wanted to redo the wiring in the uh, camaro and i know in the past video i kind of showed a uh, kicker and boss amp setup it's just cheap setup uh i ended up getting a really good deal on a set of uh rockford fosgate p3s i got a set of 12s so i have a, a okay-ish amp so i'm looking to <sighs> upgrade the box and i'm basically i'm building everything around the subs uh because i really do like the subs so i really want to get you know a proper box proper amp and proper wiring now i have changed the wiring to a four gauge power wire uh also added uh, a two gauge ground from battery to body and then i have a, a four gauge uh, ground from body to the amp so this is the kit I bought. I bought this for 50 bucks at a local car audio shop. Uh, T-Spec is the brand, uh, but it's actually made by Metra. So this is a CCA wiring kit, which if you don't know what that means, is copper clad aluminum. Basically, it's very, very fine strands of aluminum coated in copper. Uh, the theory of that is, is the electricity flows on the outside of the wires, not through the inside of the wires. Which, uh, I'm not going to get into all that. Basically, no CCA is cheap and uh, uh, OFC is more expensive. Uh, what's the benefits? I don't know. Um, but uh, this kit is the 4 gauge. Uh, it says performance level V6. So you're not getting your V8. You're getting your v6 like my camaro you don't get the v8 you got to get to settle with the v6 whatever <clears throat> anyways uh this kit says uh four gauge ant kit with rcas uh 17 foot four gauge cca matte red multi-strand power wire three foot four gauge cca matte black multi-strand ground wire 17 foot 18 gauge uh cca blue remote turn on wire and you get a 17 foot, uh, it says uh, rejecting woval coaxial RCA cable with uh, precision molded ends and split tip. I don't know a whole lot about what that has to do with anything, um, but I know it has something to do with uh, interference or something. I don't know, they got different, they got different kits obviously. Uh, let's see. Uh, mini a &L fuse holder with 60 amp fuse we won't be using that uh i'll just tell you why in a second nickel plated uh four gauge uh seam crimp ring terminal with 8.5 hole and red boot connected at battery end nickel plated uh seam crimped ring terminal with 8.5 hole and black boot connector at ground uh four four gauge spade terminals for your hot and your ground amp connection miscellaneous connectors terminals and wire ties so sounds like it comes with a lot of stuff that you need uh especially if you're starting fresh basically i'm taking everything out and restarting over um i'm not going to be using that fuse holder uh, i'll tell you why here in just a second it's just a preference thing but this says uh a thousand watt max power 14.4 volts whatever you know it's basically saying four gauge kit it's good for a thousand watt setup which i agree with uh if you go on like amazon or ebay the same kit basically uh remove the branding and they will say 3000 watts which is complete utter bull uh at a thousand watts you actually might want to be somewhere around zero gauge uh but Anyways, we're going to start with the 4 gauge kit and then uh, if we uh, need to move forward with maybe upgrading our alternator, adding a battery, any of that kind of stuff, we might have to go to zero. So, so let's check it out. Alright, here's everything laid out. Uh, this is your four gauge power wire and uh, on this end closest to the fuse you got probably like a foot and a half there 
and you have this crimped on let's check what that looks like without the uh, little booty on it that looks okay it's very stiff it's not got a lot of movement if I bend this it doesn't actually bend at the crimp joint so it's not bad uh, it's also not the best but uh, we might be cutting that off we will see but I'm going to leave that for now um, so this should be 17 feet uh, let's find it. yeah let's get this end so let's look at the end of the power wire and get a better idea so just the feel of it it feels like quality uh, it doesn't really feel like a cheap wire by no means it's got very th focus very thick insulation which gives it the illusion of being a really big wire like a two gauge uh, wow it's hard to see that but that is a lot of small fine threads of aluminum you can see the aluminum on the tips and then uh, you look at it from the side you can see the copper so yeah they're aluminum wires coated in copper uh, copper is a much better conductor than aluminum but uh, silver is better and gold is like one of the best but uh, now we're just talking astronomical numbers on uh, pricing this is already expensive enough as it is so from the looks the ground wire is literally this same uh, wire just a different color insulation the quality of the two feel exactly the same uh, this also has the same connector on this end uh, we will be using this I pulled it off and it looks just the same as the, the power wire so we should be good on that. This is a three foot strand, I believe that was. So that should be enough to run to a body ground in the car, to the amp. Hopefully. You get your 17 foot of uh, 18 gauge, I believe that was. Um, power wire for your amp, remote wire, whatever. They also said this was CCA, which I don't understand why you would do that when literally for you know not much more you could just use copper wire you can see that's very small uh, I guess this is kind of irrelevant this kind of wire it literally just tells it's kind of like an ignition on type of power so it basically just sends a signal um, to complete the circuit I guess I'm not 100% sure on that but uh, they do include the new remote wire so if you don't have one at all, now you do. The RCAs uh, in this kit, they, I don't know, they don't really feel too great. Uh, I mean, there's no issues with them. I just, I mean, they feel like the same material as these two. So it kind of has that quality, but how it's like two wires side by side, like the uh, Walmart speaker wire instead of the more quality RCAs. I'm not 100% sure on these. It's the third set of RCAs I have laying around. Let me show you the other ones I have laying around and um, show you what I'm talking about by quality. So these are a set that came out of uh, Matt's Honda. Uh, you can go back and look at another video for uh, that car. Nice little Honda Civic hatch. EG hatch I believe don't quote me on that but uh see how these are like a single like wire and then it has a what are you doing down here anyways so this is like a single wire and it splits into two Let's see feel the focus so they're like braided not 100% sure. I, mean, I need to look up this brand and see what kind of quality these are. Quality these are? <laughs> but, uh, see a little bit of a difference there? I don't know. These have a, the, the tip itself is split in the middle, uh, where these are not for some reason. But these, uh, these look like, these look to be maybe gold plated. 
very very thin like a 14 karat gold plated or something where these are probably copper with uh some type of chrome or nickel plating on them so that they don't corrode not 100 percent sure it's a little strand of plastic on it brand new out of the packaging uh we won't be using those we will keep those on the side um i'll probably install these uh i kind of like these a little bit better just because it's just a single strand like this just feels like it might be more quality uh, but we also need to be upgrading the uh, head unit as well i'll be talking about that more uh, maybe in this video or the next video we'll see but uh you get this little kit of uh some junk uh, if you got one of those uh, more inexpensive amps like i used to have where it had the little square piece that screwed down that's where you'd use these right here and there's nothing wrong with that um you just crimp those on and they have uh, a black and a red so you do have covers to insulate those so they don't touch Got two connectors for your remote wire these little red things right here the little connectors butt connector we had a couple of zip ties and then we have a plastic piece that you would put into a hole of uh, sheet metal so that it doesn't cut your power ground wire as it runs through a uh, sheet metal but yeah since i said uh i wasn't going to be using this fuse holder i do have a, a little bit better one that uses the standard larger fuses that is more common in car audio uh, i went to walmart and bought these um uh, bleep and jeep he has a very good demonstration on crimping soldering and all that kind of stuff and how to make these i'd recommend going and checking out his channel to find uh, some more information on that kind of stuff that's actually a pretty popular video but uh, you can see these have a little four stamped in it that means four gauge wiring I did check these these are not much bigger than this so we will take the wires out of here and we'll cut it off again and then strip our insulation back to the exact length we want and we'll be using a butane torch I don't have any flux, so we'll be using uh, rosin core solder. We'll solder them, and then uh, I will add a dimple with a punch in the center on the top, and this will allow this to go into our fuse holder on the car. Uh, hopefully, I'll show you that in this video as well. But um, I will let you know when I get this stuff uh, installed. Still not sure on which set of uh, RCAs I want to run, but I'm also I'm going to change them. Uh, also going to change the head unit. Uh, I mentioned something about that, but the reason for that is the head unit I have in it is a Sony, and the pre-out, which is what these RCAs carry, is a pre-out uh, voltage is only 2.5 or so volts. <sighs> Kenwoods uh, have a pre-out of 5 volts, so. We're going to take that piece of junk back to Walmart. We will be ripping out the uh, RCAs that's in the car, either upgrade to these or to those, uh, and install at Kenwood. So I will let you know when I get that stuff installed and get all this stuff installed and show you what kind of job I did. But I'm going to cut it here at this video. We're already 13 minutes in. So thanks for watching, guys. Like, comment, subscribe if you don't care. If you don't want to, I don't care. But yeah, <laughs> so I'm going to add this in on the end of the video here. So I was just taking this uh, apart here and this one right here was actually really loose. Uh, I just backed it off a little bit. Plus, uh, this will give us a little opportunity to check out the, the wiring. It's a bunch of fine strands. See where a bunch of them was pushed back. So all these were pushed backwards. Whoa, those are like hair. It's weird, man. But yeah, not impressed. Not impressed. So if you get this kit and you just sew it on your car, I'd recommend checking this stuff.
out. There's some rope wires inside there as well. No big deal. But uh, yeah, check these. Uh, check this fuse holder out before you uh, just throw it in your car. Figured I uh, show the uh, fuse holder here. So here's the great big fuses that these use, and then it has uh, this cover. So ring terminals go on there. Uh, then we got the short one here, and this one will go. The copper one I put on will go to the to go to there. And uh, before I had this brass piece. Uh, with the old wiring it would just clamp in there but this time I'm going to go straight to the battery right there and I've got me a ground right from here to there still need to add one from uh, from here to the engine as well uh, but yeah thought I'd show that real quick